Hello, housemates, and welcome back to the Dorcas Estate Over, the Darkest Dungeon. We are here with our growing army of level 5 heroes, and we now have only level 4 and level 5 heroes, so we are getting right along. So, what do we want to do today? There was some kind of update released. Uh, it was called, I mean, the splash page on Steam just said, everything burns. And I saw no description otherwise on the that splash page itself or the news items on Steam. So I don't know what uh, got changed. Perhaps we will discover it. Uh, we have, no, we do know that town events are out. Uh, we've encountered one of those. All right, so... Um, what we need to do now is basically we need to go for the bosses before we run out of good teams of level fours to do them. So there are still a couple of bosses left to us. Um, at the moment, we aren't going to get any new items out of fighting these bosses. Uh, and I think I just want to get the hag out of the way because the hag is really difficult. So let's do that. Uh, what we're going to want to do is have a flexible team in terms of movement because getting thrown in the pot, shuffle, and then knocking, getting knocked out of the pot just shuffles things around a whole lot. There's lots of debuffs, there's lots of damage, so we need healing, um, dedicated healing. So I will want to take Louvet, which is going to put her over the edge, so we won't have her anymore. Uh, we still have Hodank for uh, a later... A later um, attempt. So you're going in. Um, I want... Oh wait, do I have an available... I don't have an available Hellion. Do I really care about that? I do like having Iron Swan. Um, well, we'll see how we can manage without. So we'll put him up in the front. Um, Cinnamon Bear, uh, the... the um, Houndmaster is very versatile in terms of where he can do damage from. And... Hmm. Yes. Grave Robber, I think, will work very well. Okay, Spotted Fever. That's not so bad. Alright, so that's who we're going to take. Um, let me... I do want to think about starting to lock down good behaviors in these people. All right. guard is pretty good, but... Ah. So let's put him in and get unerring locked in. It's gonna be expensive. But we're going to make a permanent marksman out of you, Fwop. Don't worry about the straps. Just don't worry about it. Um, let's go ahead and clear out some diseases as well on these guys, just since they're here and we've got the cash. All right, now let's double check and make sure our crew has the skills that we want up to the relevant level. Holy Lance might be good uh, because we might end up in that back rank. Uh, I don't necessarily want to take it for the whole mission. I will want to... Uh, take it right before we go in against the hag. So, um, might think about getting perhaps the stress heal. And use that throughout most of the, uh, the dungeon. So, uh, yes, yes, probably... Yes. Yeah, I think we're good with him. 
Uh, yes, of course, with her. And finally, with you. You're just all upgraded there. So, we'll... I will want to switch my skills around and hopefully I remember to do this before we fight the hag. And we will also have a tasty dog treat, which will help us against the hag if I remember to use it, which I so often do not. Everyone's weapons and armor as high as they can be at this level. Okay, good. I'm sure they all have camp skills, so let's embark. All right, here's our crew, let's provision. Oops, no, duh. That would have been a disaster. Okay, so <clears throat> we are going to take this off for the time being and put this on. Uh, he's got his camp skills. With you, yep, with you. So you're operating from the third position. You can use that from the third, that from the third, that from the third, all good and great. You have your skills. You're in the fourth position. Yep, yep, yep. All right, now let's go around and do some equipping. So, um, being on death's door and death blows are uh, probably not going to be too uncommon once we fight the hag and perhaps even before that. So this is a good thing to take on Levy. I don't want Levy to die, that would be a shame. Um, so death blow resist, etc. Um, we can make his heals better. He doesn't do any heals. He'd get a little bit of crit resistance. Probably not worth it. Um, we could make him do more damage. Stress may also be um, a likelihood. The hag is a human. Could improve our dodge chance. We could increase our damage against humans. That might be a good idea. Let's increase our stun chance. Um, I think that's just always a good idea. All right, dog. With you, we want your cudgel. We do want the stun chances. Uh, minus heals received won't be that bad considering how potent the heals from our Vestal will be. So I could take that. Scouting in a boss encounter is very helpful because you want to know exactly where the boss is so you can camp right beforehand and so you can take a direct path. So this is also a good option. But we do need to be able to just straight up kill that hag. Uh, we could also worry about Death's Door on this fine fellow and give him some resistance against that. Um, you know what, frankly, I don't think I should be as worried about the Death Door stuff as I, as, I'm, as I have been. So let's go with the scouting chance. I think that's wise. We'll have a good amount of damage. Does that change what I'm gonna do here? Virtue. Do we wanna just make him do more damage instead? In which case, we could give him this lovely box. Yeah. Uh, planning for Death's Door, I mean, so you should plan for failure in this game, uh, because you will get to those, like, border points. Um, but don't assume that you're going to get there. I think that we will, even if we get to a Death's Blow area, we have group healing, which is very helpful to like get people off that threshold. So I think we should focus instead on damaging the hag. All right, so that means you. Uh, this is super good for you because you're gonna be throwing those knives constantly. Um, we could make her super dodgy. We could reduce our chance to be surprised. We have not really gotten much in the way of items for the Grave Robber this whole way through. I don't know if there are simply fewer items for her or not. Speed, damage, stress, no. We give her the Manslayer Ring. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and then finally, we have a pretty standard 
loadout for our Vestal. Um, <clears throat> all right. So now everyone's set up with items. Now we can move on to provisioning. So, um, we'll take all of this food, just to be on the safe side. We'll take a decent number of torches, but not so many. Uh, let's take a pretty standard number of all this other stuff. And, uh, yeah, that looks good. Let's go. Her knowledge of horticulturalism and its role in various arcane practices impressed me greatly. My licentious impulse gave way to a genuine professional respect, and together, we began to plant, harvest, and brew. Well, that's a nice little story. There is method in the wild corruption here. It bears a form both wretched and malevolent. Well, those are both bad things. All right, all right, all right. We have everyone in the order we want. Yep, I think we are good to go. So we got combat straight off the bat. All right. So you were unholy. Seven to thirteen. Obliterated. Yep. I'll take it. Um. Annihilated. Obliterated. Annihilated. Destroyed. Destroyed. Yeah, those are three words I like to hear. A trifling victory. Yep, that's true. But a victory nonetheless. I'll take it. All right, deeds are what we need. So I will not turn my nose up at them. Okay, this will be a bit more annoying. We can get these two. Now I think I want to stun the fat slime here. Mark is fine, not worried about that so much. Yep, go ahead. All right, let's, let's mark him. It, that, them, whatever. Okay. Express this advantage. Give them no quarter. Oh, fuck you. Of course. Eh, no oh well. All right. Um Try and get rid of the big one. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. All right, uh, no, we won't worry about the. So the griping in the guts is less healing at camp, which isn't so bad. Let's keep this one from reproducing. It's not going to die. Now it should. The slow death, unforeseen, unforgiving. Let's have her self-cure, drink whatever it is she's drinking there. I'm not gonna ask. Your stun resist, we still have a decent chance to stun him, but let's just go in for the kill instead. All right, getting a boatload of heirlooms. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. More, what? Um, okay. Hum de dum de dum. Uh. The way 
is lit. The path is clear. I'm gonna take this full we stack. We require only the strength to follow it. So we want to get an end Waiting to, be spent. to the uh, blacksmith upgrading. I should remember my scouting is actually better when the torch goes down because of the dog whistle. So we don't have a really straightforward route to our um, quarry this time. Um, I guess we're just going to leave all this. Laden with loot are often low on supplies. Let's see if we can get a scout off now because we're below 51. Oh, well, first we're gonna have to fight. Okay, let's see here. Good damage. Alright, we definitely want to stun this big dude because he will confuse us. That's almost always the first thing he does, is rearrange your party. Alright, a little stress isn't so bad. The mark prey isn't bad when he's not operative. Alright, so let's just hack away at him. Um, yeah, he needs to go. Nine to twenty, nine to twenty, it's twenty-two percent chance crit. Thirteen. Yes. Yeah, one giant fungoid piece at a time. All right, so he's one hundred and ten. We could try and stun him, but no, I don't think we need to. So he's not going to die quite yet. Can we get more damage on him before he goes? That we can. So he should be toast. All right. Uh, let's do some torch work. Oh, he's not quite dead, but he will be before he gets to do anything. So I am okay with that. Stop. Stop it. Right in the chest. A death by inches. A death by inches. More like a death by milliliters, because he's bleeding. Yeah. Well, you have to be done with her. Her corpse disappeared. Seize this right. momentum. Eat food. Push on to the task's end. Um. Whatever. Yeah, scouting. So I'm gonna guess that our hag is up there in the top left corner. We got a ways to go to get to her. All right. This isn't so bad. Yeah, she always hits the humanoid enemies right in the chest. It's pretty, pretty painful. Everyone driving us into darkness here. Definitely glad I took the stun items. Not likely that we'll stun her. Oh, got it. That's impressive. Um... As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. So he's gonna get to go this time. But he's all by himself, so it's not so bad. And as I told you, oh, he always tries to rearrange you 
but he just totally whiffed. So I am happy with that. Let's get our torch up a bit more. Scout off here. Yeah, we're gonna fight harder in the dark too. It says so. Alright. Ooh, a good scout. Alright. Except for that one combat, it's pretty clear up ahead for a bit. Um Grave Robber. If only treasure could staunch the flow right. of otherworldly corruption. Mm, nope. Fight time. Okay, they're both gonna make it much darker and stress us out a whole bunch. Ooh, bummer. That was a weak throw. Seem to be focusing on my Grave Robber there. Well, at least the Grave Robber dodged this time. So it's fucking dark. Um, actually, I don't like you. I can stun both of them. I maybe should have done this the other way around. I think the Houndmaster uh, stun is better. But we got him. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just try and manage our torchlight back up a little bit. And... Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. We're definitely not going to get the stun off this time. That's, again, not why I'm doing that. Nope. Disappointing. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. All right, garbage upon garbage. Let's see, we get a new scout. Nope. All right, so we don't need to go up there at this point in time, so we'll avoid that. Um. We haven't snacked at all yet. So I'm going to leave this here. Or I'm not going to leave this here. Ugh, gross, dude. Okay, at least he resisted. Yeah, you should have known better. Come on, give me a big scout. Give me a double scout, come on. Yeah, that's what I needed to know. All right, she's down here, good. Uh, we can avoid combat by going down and over, which is definitely what we're gonna do. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. I could, I should leave these curios alone, actually, since I have no room in my pack. All right, so we're gonna camp here, 
and then we're gonna run up to the boss battle. So, let's go. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. All right. So, uh, I don't want to get ambushed before we go. All right. Um, still a good amount of stress on people. I'm not that worried about it. So now I want to think about combat buffs. I can get rid of disease on... Eh, not that important. So let's think about damage that we can do. He doesn't have any damage ones out. He doesn't have any damage ones out. Alright, so I actually don't have much in the way of damage enhancement. Uh, we have a dodge and that. Probably want to put that on, I guess, the Houndmaster. So let's do this. Can reduce our stress and give them a stress um, resistance. And so that's it. Um, I didn't think very hard about my camp skills in terms of damage boosting when I put this party together. I'm still not too worried. Not yet, at least. In Radiance, may we find victory. All right, we have a shovel, so we are not concerned with the tentacle tree Nature here. herself, a victim to the spreading corruption. Um, Malformed oh, come on, lady. Don't get a disease. Ah, oh, fuck you. At least she resisted. All right, we are prepared. Let's remember to use that dog treat. A slathering testament to the powers of corruption. Okay, 99 hit points. Mer. Yeah, let's, let's just go for this. 15 down. She gets two actions. She's putting Levy into the pot. Oh, my armor is going to make me like fucking broil. Um, let's. Mark her first. Maybe can take a little bit of damage. It'll be fine. Ouchie. Um, again, Levy can stand to stand the heat a little bit. Okay. This is really what you worry about, is not having any time to do damage to her. So he's gonna have taken a lot of damage by the time he comes out. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get, nice. We're gonna get a little bit of time. Try and get some bleed damage on her. All right, who's she putting in the pot now? All right. No, oh, we dodged. Excellent. Good. We're doing good work here. Can she try twice? No. Good. We're very dodgy. Um, he can't hit her at all. So. do a little bit of healing on himself. You should put a big heal, and now she's going to put someone back into the pot. Oh no, we get to go. Excellent. Um, Alright, who's going in? Our healer. Okay. She'll be fine. Um, I'm actually just gonna go straight for killing now. Oh, come. Oh, I forgot to use the fucking dog treat. 
Oh, I'm such an idiot. I always forget. Shut up. I'll get you out. Okay, so that was actually pretty easy. Dark Crown. Alright, I'll take that. So that was pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Um, the first the, the first time I encountered the hag when she's the apprentice level boss, I always have a lot of trouble with her. So um, this time it was A-OK. -okay. So let's continue. We are still in pretty good shape. All right, let's go up this way. Oh, we need to rearrange. So you need to go all the way back and that solves it. And we'll start healing once we get into combat. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Mm -hmm. Do I want to throw away anything? Interesting. So this item makes it harder for you to break when it's dark. And also, if you do eventually break, it gives you a big chance to, uh, to break good rather than bad. I think this is actually a pretty good item, so I will keep it around. Um, I guess we'll just leave this stuff on the floor then. All right, this is good. Give us a round to do a heal. Let's stun. Yeah, look at that. Seven across the board. And then you also stun. Nice. Nice. All right. Just keep with the double throws. Destroy them. Uh, you take him out. Stun this dude in the front. And yep, shoot. Ah, uh, you suck, dude. Are we gonna get a hit? All right, not so bad though. Pick to the face. Dog to the face. Hey, we still can't pick any of this up. Um, I think we should drop something now. Uh, let's drop this to take the gold. I'm always bad with inventory management in this game. All right, let's go up, up, up. Sad times. Let's have you disarm that trap. All right. I really don't like those particular enemies. Mm, stun you. Don't deal with your bleeding. Nice. The mark of the fungus. All right, eh, we'll do a party heal. Slowly but surely getting everyone back up to full. Double mark is good. Better than it being spread across the party. 
Nice. Get rid of the one in the back. Ouch. This guy is going to do his annoying attack now, so let's stun him. His escape cloud. Um. Whoa. He's going to, yeah, do that. Not so bad. A decisive bubbling. I, of course, I, I just now remembering that I forgot to switch to Holy Lance, too. I just didn't do anything I was supposed to in that fight, but we came out fine. Come on, Fungus Man. Read the writing on the wall here. Whoa! Alright. Let's drop bandages. Take that. Yes, very much so. All right, let's explore some more. No. All right, we're gonna have a fight right away. Not so bad. I was hoping we might obliterate him right off the bat, but no such luck. I want to make sure we stun him. I just got rid of my bandages. gonna get a turn, sadly. Ouch. Alright, that wasn't so bad. think we're gonna need these anymore. Uh, if I run into a collector or something, I'll be sad that I dropped that, those. Um, the match is struck. A blazing star is born. Oops. Beyond measure. Well, we're definitely not going to starve. Alike. Don't tell me to be quiet. All right, we'll go to this last room, and then we will have completely explored this place. Stop jamming your hands into dead people. 
It's fucking weird. Of course you did. Idiot. Okay, lots of dogs. Uh, so much rabies. Ha! I wouldn't worry about it. You suck. Maybe you shouldn't have jammed your hand to that dead guy. All right, so we're about to leave, so we can drop. That is not a locked chest, so those are no good. This is no good. This is no good. This is no good. Uh, don't actually need that either. All right. So we're done. Let's go. That was pretty easy. We came out on top. Got lots of good stuff. Got some deeds, which is what we were searching for. Didn't get a lot of cash, but we got um, just above 15,000. Got a duplicate artifact, which we will sell. And so, so we got 20 deeds. 20 deeds is good. That might get us where we need to be. They all go up to level five, and we only get one. Uh, bummer. Wasn't so bad, though. All right. One more. There is oh. indeed no better place for those in search of rarities and forgotten lore. What's happening? The recently recovered cache has excited local enthusiasts and drawn the attention of experts in neighboring areas. So, what does that mean? Oh, I can, I can freely recruit these two. They're both level zero and my roster is full, so uh, I don't care. Nice. So we cured some stuff. Fwop. Now is unerring forever. Nice. 50 deeds. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. There we sword, go. A stronger shield. Anything to prolong a soldier's life. And now we are up to the tippy top with both the blacksmith and the guild. Do we have enough to do this last upgrade? We do. And now the stagecoach is also fully upgraded. So we will get as many and the most experienced heroes that we can should one of ours fall, which I'm afraid is an inevitability. Okay, so that town event did not help us. Uh, let's make sure to sell our extra one of these. These, I mean, for a good chunk of cash. Goodbye. All right, let's think about what we want to do next. So, put these guys away. Sort by level. Nice. All right, so. Uh, green missions are below all of our people, so that we will simply ignore. We have here the Unstable Flesh. Um, we have here the 12 Pounder. Um, we have here the Alluring, Alluring Siren. Sniper's Ring. Oh, that's pretty good. Might want to go after that. Um, do we have people who won't level up? Yeah, so we could take you and you and you and you. 
I think none of them will go up to level 5. We can get the Sniper's Ring, which looks pretty good. Um, we don't really need to... There are no buildings that we need to upgrade now. They are only the Stress Relievers and Quirk Removers, and of course the Survivalist and Nomad Wagon. Um, so nothing crucial, just things that we would upgrade for the achievements and that kind of thing. Um, so this takes crests, reduce the... So we're just gonna use our excess crests here from now on. and curios. Sold at a profit, of course. Of course. I mean... Oh, that's actually quite good. 100, minus 100% 100 food consumed. You don't take damage when you starve, and you dodge more. I'm very tempted to buy that. Sunring, Fleet Florin. Uh, no, it's really expensive. I don't think it's worth it that much. All right, so we know what we're going to do next time. Um, we are, yeah, we're done here. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. It went much better than I had anticipated. So please hit a thumbs up. And if you want to see the continued progress of the Dorcas Estate and its denizens, then please subscribe to this channel. If you're not going to do any of those things, then I'm sending you down in the dungeon wearing a burlap sack and carrying a frying pan.